वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी विल हेल्प यू टू लेवल अप योर कोडिंग स्किल टुडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इन टू द ओल्ड ऑफ फ्लॉक्स स्पेशली फोकसिंग ऑन राउटिंग एंड यू आर एल बिल्डिंग फ्लॉक्स इज अ पावरफुल एंड माइक्रोवेव फ्रेमवर्क फॉर पाइथन एंड मास्टरिंग राउटिंग एंड यू आर एल बिल्डिंग विल हेल्प यू टू बिल्ड मोर रोबस्ट एंड डायनेमिक वेब एप्लीकेशन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट वॉट इज राउटिंग इन अ नॉट सेल Routing is the process of mapping URL to a specific function within your application. This is crucial for any web application as it help define the structure and organize your application. Flux makes it easy to create and manage route, enabling you to build flexible and dynamic web application. Let's talk about basic routing in Flux. Let's start with a simple example which is from a previous tutorial. Here is how you create a basic route in Flux. This example defines a route for a root URL and map it to a function called home. When user visit the root URL, Flux will execute the home function which will return the hello world. That's why it display hello world in the browser. The next one is variable rule. You can make your own route more dynamic by adding variable section to them. Variable section are specified using angle bracket and can be used to capture values from the URL. Here is an example. Then to rerun the app, press Ctrl plus F5. Then go to the URL like this. This is our root URL. Then slash user and the name of user. Nauraz. When we enter, it display user is Nauraz. The route contain a variable section called username, which is captured from the URL and pass it to the so user profile as an argument then inside this function we use this variable to display it we can also understand this from the console as you can see we are fetching user slash nauraz using a get method where this nauraz is assigned to a username then this nauraz again assigned to a here as a parameter then the value is used here and it display user nauraz now let's talk about url converter flux allow you to use different type of converter in your variable section to enforce a specific data type by default it is a string data type it accept any text without slash then we have a in data type which accept the integer value and also we have a float data type which accept floating point value and we have a path data type which accepts slash and which is useful for file path let's understand this by example here i want to define the int data type which is a post id here i define post id as a int data type then write so post and here We take the post ID as an argument, then display the post ID. Also write post ID, then save this and rerun. Now, when I go to the post and hit enter. It return not found because here we define that value must be integer and here we are passing the a string that's why it return not found but when I send the Nauraz with some number like 44 it return post ID equal to 44 you can experiment with other data type now let's move on to 
URL building. In addition to defining routes, Flux also provides a handy function called URL for to build URL for your routes. This function takes the name of the function associated with the route and any required argument and generate the URL for it. Here is an example. First, we have to import the URL for from the Flux. So I have to write URL for then we do not need this so i'm gonna comment this and here i'm gonna write f dot route login define the login function and pass also define another route for profile In this case, the URL for method generate a URL for login route, which is slash login. Now save this and rerun and then go to profile. Next is external URL. Sometimes you may need to generate an external URL that include the full domain name and scheme. To do this, pass the external equal to true parameter to the url for function external equal to true now save this and rerun now if i refresh the page i'm not only getting the login but also the full domain name next is url query parameter you can also add query parameter in your URL using URL for function. To do this, simply pass the query parameter as a keyword argument. For this, I'm going to rewrite this function. Search. Now save this and rerun source. In this example, the URL for function generate a URL for the source route with a query parameter Q and page. The routing result will be source, then Q equal to flux, Q equal to flux, and we just separate the parameter then page equal to 2 page equal to 2 at last we have blueprint based routing in larger application it's a good idea to split your routes into multiple file or modules plus blueprint make it easy to modularize your route and share common functionality across different part of your application to create a blueprint you will need to import the blueprint class from flux Create a new blueprint object. Define your route using the blueprint object instead of the app object. Register your blueprint with your Flux application. And here is an example of a blueprint for user related routes. For this, first I'm gonna comment this. 
first we need to import blueprint from flux and we do not need this url for so i'm gonna import blueprint and then make a user blueprint object and instead of app we use user blueprint and i'm gonna make a route for login there is also login and here i'm gonna write user login page and copy this change it to profile and comment it out also we need to register this blueprint so here we have to write app dot register blueprint and what we want to register we want to register this user blueprint so copy this and pass it here now save this and rerun now if I go to the login I will see user login page and if I go to the profile I will see user profile page and that's a wrap up Today we have covered the essential of routing and URL building in Flux. From basic routing and variable rules to the blueprint based routing. By mastering this concept, you will be well equipped to build more complex and dynamic web application with Flux. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friend. Stay tuned for more Flux and web development content and as always, happy coding.